If you're trying to learn the theater of blood, don't worry boys, the king's got your back. This is the most informative and efficient guide you will ever see on YouTube. Be sure to stop by at twitch.tv slash kingcondor6969, where we're always generating that big dick energy. Come by, say hi. We got Tob, we got Cox, we got free fighter torsos whenever you need it. Just hit me up and the boys will sort you out, free of charge. If you prefer American or European servers, feel free to check out my boy Sweat at twitch.tv slash zvt. Vananos? I don't know. I'll call him butt sweat. Him and his boys are a great bunch of guys. They helped me throw this video together. They're very patient, English-speaking, polite people. If they are going to talk shit about you, they'll do it in their native tongue, which I believe is Dutch or German or whatever the difference is. So if you don't understand it, you don't have a problem. On top of that, they have no problem taking me through raids with this gear today, simply because I'm the best PVMer in the fucking game. And if you think I'm not about to clutch theater of blood right now on this gear, you're out of your fucking mind. Today we're going in with this juicy gear, plenty of range offensive gear, ring of suffering of recoil charges because it does a lot of damage and a dragon medium helmet purely for the meme. Shout out to Gonads. In the inventory you have a one-way weapon switch, a Varax plate skirt because I'm field testing a theory, your crystal halberd, your slave amulet, and the rest of your inventory just fill it with shit. Most other guys will tell you to take best in slot and void gear. Those guys are wrong. You do not need that equipment. Void is dog shit. It's made of paper. You'll get slapped with a handkerchief from a little girl's birthday party and die. Best in slot gear is obviously ideal, but Barra's armor is slept on fucking hard in this game. It's perfectly fine for the raids. And since that 500 mil drop party, you greedy fuckers took all my money. So this is all I can do. I'm currently using World 510, which gives me about 430 ping. So if I can do Theater of Blood on this ping, with this gear, without dying, any of you motherfuckers can do it. Now let's get the fuck into it, boys. Starting off, read the notice board in the center and choose your party, which is, uh, this cunt here. Apply. Look at that, boys. 6kc, god damn. Look at the boys jumping in with the dragon medium helmets. Absolutely fucking love it. And look at all these sweaty fucking nerds. Now you're probably wondering what these three fuckers are doing in my inventory. It was quite simple. Not to sound sweaty, but if you pot up now, you can get more shit in the raid. It's not really essential, so I'm just gonna pot up now. You want a drink? Drink. And you're fucking... Fishy fishy. Replace them with three Sarabrews and you're good to go. Alright, the gang's all here. Let's fucking go. Hurry up, cunt. Now it's quite simple. You've got three people essentially carrying you. The role I'm playing is very simple. Don't fucking die. There's not really too much else I can say to explain it. Don't worry about them dropping pots. We have BGS. We don't need to worry about that shit. So the first boss you're gonna range. The only thing you need to do is stay out of the blood. If you step in the blood, it's game over. 434 ping, so it's quite difficult to uh, catch, but it's not really a problem. Let's get in here. Spec up. See blood straight away. Holy shit. As long as you don't step in it, you're good. Run up. Give her the spec. Fucking BAP! Holy fuck. Go back in again. What's that bitch? BAP! Blowpipe on. Rigger with the hard iron. Start smacking the cunt. Oh, run away from the blood. Ugh. Stood in the blood. Bad player. The more you step in the blood, the more damage she does, the more defense she gets. It just, and these little fucking cunts spawn. Now, 70% health, spider spawn. Not to worry, these guys will, uh, butt sweat. You alright, dude? Alright, lag's getting in the way. Doesn't matter, boys. All you gotta do is hit the shit, and you'll be alright. Your role is to just do damage and stay alive. Don't go in the fucking blood. Jesus Christ. Look at that, boys. Nice and simple. You don't have to worry about anything else. This guy's gonna tank. They're gonna freeze the spiders and heal off them. You just sit here, avoid that fucking blood, and keep hitting the bitch. More spiders, they spawn at 70, 50, and 30 HP. No biggie. See how they're frozen? Not a problem at all. One up here to damage, leave the rest clustered in the middle. They'll sort that out. Stay away from the blood, holy shit. This is what the tank heals off while you're fucking doing the damage. Butt sweat, getting the fucking job done. Good boys, good fucking freezes. Now there's one down the bottom here by himself. Your role is to damage that cunt without stepping in the blood, holy shit. Nice and easy, dragon darts are OP. And you just hit the bitch. Once they're all down, DPS the fuck out of it. Not a problem. Look at that. Room one done. Use one fucking dose of super restore. At the end of every room, your shit gets restored. Be sure to turn your prayer off. Walk through the barrier. Onto the next room, boys. Thank you for the fucking D-Med carry. God damn, squad's on point. All right, room number two. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, god damn. Fuck me, look at that boy. It's huge. Fucking doesn't give a damn. Look at that ass. If you have rune light, just shift, right click, tag him, and you'll see the fucking hitbox. Look at that fucking boy. So this room is very simple. Just stay on the opposite side of this tower to him, and you won't fucking die. Eventually, he goes to sleep, and you do damage. I'm going to wait outside, because I've got 400 ping until he goes to sleep the first time with my BGS and my slave amulet on. These three are going to run in and start the room up. So I'm going to just... In they go, opposite sides, and just notice how they just move around the corner. The key is to move around the corner one block at a time. Don't get too fucking cheeky. Don't run to the other side like a cheeky little cunt. Just walk and chill. We're gonna get ready to spec. And down he goes. See, he's gone to sleep. Now my time to fucking shine. Fucking hit the cunt with party on the BGS. Fucking bop! Five. Wow. Very impressive. Thank you, Kanye. And just keep fucking smacking him with the whip. That's all you do. Now you run away quickly before he wakes up. Want to hide around the corner, and you're good to go. Pray range just in case he does do damage to you. Watch out for the falling shit. If you get hit with that, well, see you later, dude. You're going back to Lumbridge. Around the corner. 
Hold on. He's just turned around. That's why it's good to tag him so you can see what's going on. Around the corner. Around the corner. Fuck me. Holy shit, boys. It's all good. Fucking lag. Doesn't matter. Keep going. He's picking up the pace. That boy's coming for that ass. Perfect time for the Crystal Halley spec. Hit that fucking spec twice. Fucking bop. Hit him again. Bop. Keep whipping him into fucking shape. Get the fuck out of there before he wakes up. Uh oh. You're insane. If you're not around the corner by the time he wakes up, you take big damage. Oh! Fuck! What are you doing? Lag? Holy shit. That's some good lag, boys. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, that's me dead. It's alright, boys. Oh, he's down. That was clutch as fuck. Thank you for that ping. Holy shit. Doesn't matter, boys. Going in. And then he's down. The big boy. Just like that. Turn your prayers off. You're good to go. I've never died in the theater of blood with a dragon medium helmet on. I'm not gonna fucking start now. Now there's a chest before the next room. Basically, the more points you get, the better you've done. I think it ranges from 12 to six points. I could be wrong. So 10 points I'm pretty fucking happy with. All you're gonna need is one stamina potion, nothing else. Save the rest for now. I'm also gonna put on my Varax plate skirt as part of an experiment in this room. And you don't need your slave ammo anymore. You can drop it because they're easy to get and you can get another potion. So let's get a fucking Sarabri for the meme. Let's get the fuck into it. Now this room is a little bit more complex, but it's quite simple. With four people, you're gonna have two milliers, one range, one Mage. With one of the melees, more than likely going to swap to mage in between. It doesn't matter though. All you need to know is that melee is grey, range is green, mage is blue. You're going to go in and every grey cunt you see, you're going to whip him into shape. Hit the spiders, attacking the players first, then the pillars. Now the idea is you don't stop fucking running. Just always clicking. At the start, it's a little bit slow, but it fucking builds up. Ah! You've got four pillars on here. When they fall, you take a lot of damage. If they all fall, you lose. But you want to hit the spiders, attacking the players first, because they do slack gorilla cheeks. It's not a lot of fun. Ah! You can pray party if you want. It's not really too big of a deal. Ah! The spiders do also change color, which is really fucking annoying sometimes. Uh, there's a lot of mages coming in now, so we're gonna swap the Kirill's skirt back over, pray mage, and just keep fucking hitting those cunts. Alright, we're coming to the end now. The spiders are dying off. We're gonna wait. We're gonna start praying melee, and we're gonna pot up, just because we need that extra fucking HP. Now, this boss is very fucking simple. The one rule to remember is to pray first and switch second. Because it will fucking smack you. Always starts on melee. Not really too much else I can give you on that. Here he comes. Grows melee, start smacking him. You'll normally get about two hits in. He swaps to mage. Put your fucking staff on, start hitting him. Don't worry about not having mage gear because his defense is fucking nothing. Look at that. Next, melee again. Might even get a cheeky BGS back in there real quick, boys. Fucking yeet. Back to mage, back to melee. Now, every time he changes attack style, you will stop attacking him. So you won't ever get the wrong attack off. If you do, you will heal him. So make sure you pray, change your item, and then bop, 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 bop. Laters, bro. Once again, just another fucking easy room. Butt sweat's having a bit of trouble, boys. So I'm going to drop a Sarabru real quick. I'm telling you. Too sweaty. Room four, very fucking easy. Put your Varax plate skirt on. And there's two phases to this fight. We'll go through them as we fucking do it. Let's get in there. Running in, praying mage and party. Now see these squares that are tiled? You may as well fucking tile them while you can. Holy shit, I just fucking missed that. Basically, if you get hit by a ball, you're gonna get fucking smited. Red is mage, black is range. When it's coming at you, just flick your prayer like that and you're good to fucking go. I'm not gonna protect melee because I'm fairly certain you can tank it pretty well. At 66.6 .6 HP, you'll get sent back to the start with the boys, except one of you has a maze where you have a red map on the screen everyone has to follow. Hopefully I get it on the next one so I can explain it better in a video. If not, I'll go through it anyway. So you want to just click these fucking red dots as they come along. The third row is safe. Once that's gone, that's it. You just keep fucking clicking what they've clicked. And I fucking, as I'm lagging, it's a little rough to keep up, but uh, luckily I'm good at the fucking game. You want to run all the way straight through, back to here, and we'll get fucking going again. Can we hit this fucking boss, boys? Big red orb. Is DD. Everyone meets here on the center square. Make sure you pray mage because a ball will come back out. If you tank the red ball yourself, you're going to get hit up in the 60s. Oh, look at that. I've got the maze. Awesome. So this is what happens. You're chosen. You're always taking damage. So you want to go step one. I'm not communicating with them, so I just have to assume they're ready. Step two, three here. Now you just want to follow up by clicking the corners. Because I'm lagging, you got to kind of uh, move as you can. Hopefully I haven't killed my team. I won't know till I get out. So we're going to find out whether uh, the guy's going to end here or we're going to keep going and get that purple drop at the end of the raid, boys. Wish me luck. Fuck! I clicked too soon there because of my lag. I kind of over-anticipated. That's all good. Go through. They're still alive. So we're all good, boys. Sometimes you can afford to fuck up. Sometimes you're just fucking garbage. Oh, fuck. That's a mage. Oh, fuck. What? Thank you. Smited. If you get smited, just walk away. And then, doesn't matter, my prey can come back on anyway. DD, doesn't matter because he's dead. Let's just walk out of here, boys. Nice work. After this room, there's a chest. And that's the last chest you'll have for the raid. So you've got to use your brain a little bit here. Anything that's not photos, drop it. Other than the super combats. Next, we want to get rid of the slave amulet. Could have done that ages ago. Don't need it anymore. And we've got 21 points, which is pretty fucking juicy. So we're going to get an extra Sarabri. But I'm going to take a few extra restores. Because I think prayer and restore is more important than health. Considering I'm not wearing void, which is made of fucking paper. I shouldn't have an issue tanking anything. And we don't need the range potion anymore, so we're gonna take a fucking sippy sippy. Drop that shit, put our BGS on and our range gear, and we're gonna walk straight out there. Hopefully, the boys follow right behind. 
The second last room is this drooling spastic cunt. Look at that. Uh, there's three phases, and I'm just going to go through them as we do them. It's a lot easier to explain that way, so let's fucking move in. Uh, I'm going to take the top left corner. Basically, these little fucking like cunts are going to open up on the floor and start throwing balls at it. You want to run on top of them as a team. First person on there stays on there. If you're on 400 ping like me, it's a little hard to fucking keep up. And the more balls that get to him, the more health he gets, the more defense he gets. So you want to get onto him pretty fucking quickly. And someone on your team should always be running to it. And you want to just keep going, oh fuck, that's a long one. Oh! Go to the other one, go to the other one. Good man. Oh, yikes. This is rough, boys. This is rough. That's all of them now. So we want to get our spec ready. Pray party, and we want to hit this guy. If your BGS doesn't land, you're not getting the fucking kill here. It's pretty fucked. Three. Wow. Thank you, Kanye. Oh, look at that. 50. Now we're fucking cooking with gas. Put your fucking blowpipe on. Rigger with the hard iron. Start smacking him. When he looks at you, he throws a pause and boil. Pause and boil. Oh, oh, one step too far. That's fine. Keep going. And wait till he looks at you again. Is he looking? There he is. Nice ball. Yeah, cheers, mate. Let's walk over here. And look at that. Just keep fucking ranging him. No worries. You got a bunch of balls flying over as well from the other side. That's fine. Don't worry about them. What's up? Looking? Yeah, sure, dude. Let's uh, go here. And just keep going. You want to keep it nice and neat because if you fuck it up, it's going to get messy. And when it gets messy, it's untidy. When he gets to about 30 HP, he screeches. <laughs> and there's the screech. So you want to not look at him while he's attacking? Oh, shit. Basically, if he looks at you and you attack him, you're dead. These guys are going to walk around and fucking slowly hit him. Walk around, slowly hit him. Hit him a couple times with the blowpipe. You can normally get three blowpipe hits in and then look away before he looks to you. One, two, bop! Walk away. Oh, fuck. It's not me. It's all good. And just keep going. Just don't be in his fucking line of sight when you hit him. Otherwise, you're going back to Lumbridge. And that's an easy room. If you're low on health, you don't want to use your resources. You just want to chill and let the rest of the team take him out. Because you want to use all your potions for the next boss. All right, let's go. Enter the last room for the final boss. There was a dorm ring on that skeleton, by the way. Some cunt picked it up. Just make sure you do that. Otherwise, yeah, you're not getting this fucking job done. Now these tiles you want to ping for reference. The outer tiles are for the first phase, the inner tiles are for the second phase, and for the third phase, you just run around and hope for the best. Now you want to drop a bunch of your potions everywhere, mostly because if you die that means the teammates can pick up the potions and continue the fucking boss fight. Because it's not fun and one misclick can be very costly. Dragon Med Squad's here to fuck this bitch up. Why does my face look more fucked than theirs? So in this room the door bringer does the damage. The best way to keep the order is on the left here you've got little blood orbs. S-A-K me. You want to go in that order of specking, that way everyone's on the same page, you don't really miss anything. You're going to basically spec Tyrus and you're going to use the pillar as cover when she attacks attacks. You'll know when she's attacking because she opens her fucking legs. Let's get into it boys. Super combat up. Always pray mage. Spam left click till we're fucking ready to go. Start hitting it. You can get four hits off with the whip and then run behind the pillar. They're going to drop. Keta's going to pick it up because they would have already done four fucking attacks with that weapon. Because I'm lagging, I'm going to do one attack in between, but melee attacks don't really fucking matter. We're going to pick that Dawnbringer up. We're going to put it on. We're going to spec the bitch real quick. Put the weapon on. Drop it for the next boy to grab. Missed it. Sorry, mate. It's a bit rough when you're fucking 400 ping more than the rest of you. This pillar's going to fall. You want to be careful because if it falls, you're going to take damage. Notice how she opens her fucking legs. Come on, hit the pillar. Dare you, bitch. Ready? Wide open, bitch! See you later! Run over here, someone took some damage, is that me? No, it was butt sweat. Nice work. Where's the fucking Dawnbringer? I'm up next. Oh shit, she's down anyway. Fuck. When the pillar falls, you take damage. Make sure you heal up. Get ready for the second phase. You wanna pray range here? I'm gonna just take my time getting into the rhythm of things because... I need to fucking get my healing back in order. Also, the main thing here is to just stay calm. When the spider spawns... Thank you, bitch. Sorry. You don't want to stay still and you don't want the spiders to hit you. When the purple one spawns, give it a fucking whip. It'll die. Get away from that spider. The main thing is to stay calm. The team would rather you not do damage and survive then try to do damage and die. Just keep avoiding. Don't get in front of her because she'll fucking bounce you back with a fucking huge gut. Thanks, bitch. 400 ping is not the easiest to do this boss on, but it's alright. Just go fucking bop, bop, walk over here. And you kind of just want to hit her like this with the whip. With the scythe, you just want to go back and forth from the one because it's a slow weapon. You can kind of do it with that. Yep, 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 yep. I'm just going to go for a bit of a jog, get my shit back together. Now, with the red fucking spider spawns, you got to pray mage because she starts changing her primary attack. The range attack becomes less common. And the red spider's healer, so you want to deal damage to them. I should probably fucking super combat up as well. Hit this fucking spider, send it back to Lumbridge. We don't need that shit. It's simply just surviving and having as minimal amount of resources on you as you can because that way, if anything does go wrong, the people carrying you can easily fucking bring it forward. A good indicator to use is when the cape flicks is when you attack her. Which honestly just really depends on your lag. If you can't get it in time, doesn't matter. The boys have got it. Now she's a big old fucking boy. God damn. And now it's a guessing game. Who's the gonna tank? Not me. That means I can start hitting the bitch. That's a range attack with the spikes and the blue balls are mage. Uh, spiders, just want to make sure none of them are chasing you. If they are, uh... Oh, fuck. Just run away. Stamina potion is very important. Eventually the spiders die. You just got to keep running around at the same time, not fucking feed. God damn. All right, she's doing a web phase now. So this is good fun. Basically, I like to try run around the outside. A lot of people prefer to walk. It's difficult because you don't want to get in any other cunt's way. Otherwise, you're going to get them... Them fucking... Was I not clicking there? Cool. 
Cool. I'm going to be commentating from the spectator seat. One guy's tanking, walking under her, running away, whichever one suits you best. And it's just a matter of left clicks. Obviously, the scythe is really good here. When she opens up her asshole like that, there's yellow dots on the floor. You run on them. You stand there. You don't take any damage. <laughs> Now 20% health, these tornadoes come out. Now it's just a fucking game of cat and mouse. You gotta run away from the tornadoes pretty much for the rest of the fight. Otherwise you take about 50 damage and at the same time, end this fucking bitch's life. So it's just a massive fucking running game while people try to sort their shit out. Eventually a yellow ball will come out of her and it will deal 74 damage. Uh, so keep your health above 74 at the same time. There's a lot of shit going on. It's not too difficult to be honest. I just got caught in the webs which was unfortunate for the video. That means one death which ruins a really good chance of getting a purple drop unfortunately. As you can see the boys got my back. They clean it up but that's the point of learning that's why this guy's here to help you you do what i do as a noob you'll get your first kc and you're alive for the entire fucking grade you die on the last phase there's nothing wrong with that boys nice work let's see if we get that fucking juicy pet come on no unique no purple chest one death not bad that's not fucking bad you always have a chance of rolling the pet here we go come on give me that pet fuck i've no idea how much that's worth 372k not bad for half an hour of your time you do get more loot here than you do from Raids 1. That's pretty much how you do Theatre of Blood as a noob. You don't need your best in slot gear. You don't need Void. Judging by the points in those chests, I pulled my fucking weight. But you don't need all that sweaty shit to get it done. You just need to be fucking good at the game, smart, and dodge the fucking webs. 400 ping, I should have anticipated the click sooner, but that doesn't matter. Make sure you get on that grind. If you cannot find anyone to carry you through Theatre of Blood, and you don't mind Australian worlds, be sure to check out twitch.tv slash kingcondor6969. Come generate some of that big dick energy. We'll help you through that. And Raids 1, no fucking worries. If you prefer American or European ping, or the Dutch language in general, which is honestly quite interesting to hear. Be sure to check out my boy Butt Sweat at twitch.tv slash uh, sweet bananas. Him and his boys, they're absolute mad cunts. Very patient guys. Always a good laugh to play with them. I'll be releasing another theater of Blood Guide in the future. Now crack a fucking coldy open with the boys. Goddamn.